This is Jim Empter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with the closing grain and livestock comments for December 7th, 2018. Corn market on Friday up two and three quarters, beans up seven and a quarter, Chicago wheat up 15 and three quarters, Minneapolis up 12 and a quarter, Kansas City up 16 and a half. So a good Friday close. On the week, we were up seven and a half in corn, 22 cents in the soybean complex, Chicago wheat up three and three quarters, Minneapolis wheat up two and a half, Kansas City down two cents. When we look to the overall tone of the marketplace, the corn market really kind of set into this stronger tone. We were able on Friday to get a close above 385, and that may open up the price counts to around this 395 March and possibly up to the December around 410. Those are area of interest we're gonna look at doing some marketing, so be somewhat attentive to that. On the soybean complex, you're looking at the 90-day interim window as being one of the underlying reasons uh, this bean market saw that 22 cent strength on the week, which was encouraging to see. Now we need follow through. So we need some kind of confirmation that China's coming to terms and buying. We see resistance points around the 940 off the March and around that 970 area off the November new crop. The Chicago wheat market, Kansas City and Minneapolis uh, really didn't kind of follow through on the weekly. Uh, we were up a little bit, up three and three quarters, as we said in Chicago, Minneapolis up two and a half, Kansas City down two. But good exports on Friday lifted the market to kind of get us around average for the week. Uh, we saw a private sale of 224,000 metric tons coupled with a above average expectations for exports and that got the wheat market going and was encouraging to see. Now we need to see weak dollar follow through to kind of keep that export demand up for both the corn and wheat markets. Feeder cattle up 17 and a half on Friday, live cattle down five cents, hog market down 27 and a half fronts, uh, up a dollar in the backs. On the week, feeder cattle down 85, live cattle up 97 and a half, and the hog market down 362 and a half. Cash trade 117 to 118, there was optimism maybe get up to 120, but it doesn't look like it's gonna occur this week. We'll see if we can pull it together next week, but cattle just kinda of chopping around here. Look a bit positive, we need to see carry through now. The hog market on the other hand, weakish tone to the fronts, bullish to the backs, and we'll kinda of see how that comes to fruition here, but uh, big production is the negative tone up front. Good demand possibly coming out of China and continued buying is the positive news out of the back. So look for that trend to continue from our vantage point. This has been Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great weekend.